money. Look, you like it. I like it. And face it, we're going to have to learn how to count it. But not on your fingers. That would take way too long and people will make fun of you. So, I mean, unless you don't mind the way people judge you, then I recommend you learn how to do this faster way of counting money, which is called skip counting. And since we're dealing with $10 bills here, then we're going to learn how to skip count by the number 10, which is basically all, all we're saying is we're going to skip numbers as we count so that we get to the end faster. So what does that really look like? Let's take a look at uh, that number grid again. The first thing you want to do when you skip count is decide on a number to start with. So let's decide here. Um, what's a good number? To, let's start with one. And if we were going to skip count by 10, starting at one, you would skip 10 numbers. You would one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here's the 10th number. You would color that in. And then you would skip another 10 numbers and you would get to here again. And then you can see what the pattern looks like. And even more importantly, noticing that the second number here, the second digit, one, 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 never ever changes when you skip count by 10. What does change are the numbers in front. So you have one over here and then you put um, the for you write one here and then two, three, four, and you continue this pattern as much as you want. You don't have to stop at the nine. You can go to the 10 and then 11 and whatever you want after that. Let's start at another number. So if, if the question asks you to start skip counting by 10, starting at the number uh, five. So start at five and now skip count. So you would count 10 numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here's the 10th number. And then you skip another 10 numbers, you get to here. And then this is the new pattern. It's, it's another straight line, but take a look at this. Look at that second digit. It's a five every single time. It never changes. What does change is the number in front. So you have a five here, and then you put a one here, and then you go two, three, four, five. Again, you don't have to stop at this nine. You can go 10, 11, 12, as much as you want. Let's start at another one. Let's do one more example really get comfortable with this. So let's start at the number, how about we start at 10? So our starting number is 10. Skip 10 numbers. Where do you end up? You end up here again. Count them one at a time. One, two, and you get to 10. Count another 10 numbers and you end up right here. And here's the new pattern. Again, the second digit never ever changing. It's a zero every single time. What does change is the number in front. It starts at a one. Every time it starts at a one, look at this. It starts at a one, starts at a one. And then it goes down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, you don't have to stop here. You can go past that to write 11 and 12 and whatever you want. So anytime you skip counting by 10, the rule is the second digit never changes. Only the numbers in front of it change. So let's count this money now by uh, looking at this, by, by using this pattern that we just learned. So we have six bills. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to write, I'm going to draw six lines. I want to write my numbers on lines. Keep things a little organized. What's my starting number? It's a 10. Now remember, the rule for counting by tens is the second digit, this one here, never changes. So I'm going to write a zero on all of them because I know it's going to stay the same. Now what does change is the number in front. So our starting number is a 10 and the number in front of that is a 1. So I'm going to continue the pattern. I'm not going to write a 1 here because that would just be the same number again. I'm going to change the 1 to a 2 and then into a 3 and then a 4 and then a 5 and last but not least a 6. So what that means is that I have sixty dollars over here. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Guys get really, really comfortable counting by tens by using patterns like this one here. Let's do another example. Let's start at the number four. So here's the starting number. So here's the question. The question is start at four and count by tens. And while I'm at it, uh, I'm going to get you to do this here. While you're doing this answer here, I'm going to write a few more questions to work on. So we have all these questions. We have four questions over here. 
And the question is asking you to skip count by 10. So count by 10 using the pattern that we learned. So what's the first thing we, we got to do is we got to keep that last digit the same. Now here we only have one digit. So we'll keep the four the same every time. We'll just write four zero. Like that. And then what do we do? We change the first digit. So the number in front here. So we write a one first, then a two, three, and then four. So that's the answer for the first one. We have four, 14, 24, 34, 44. And you can compare on the chart over here. Let's take a look at it again. We started at four, so we have four. So if we do that in, let's do, let's do a lighter shade of pink. If we start at four and count 10 numbers, Actually, this doesn't show up. Let's do yellow. If we start at 4 and count 10 numbers, you're going to end up in 14, 24, 34, 44. Again, the 4 is not changing. So example 2, 28. So skip count by 10. This number here, it's only the first digit on the end, never changes. So I'm going to write 8 on all of them. Okay, let's do this one in pink. So 8 the rest of the way then the number in front changes. So in this example, we're not going to start at 1 here. We're not going to do 1. We're not going to put that there because it would break the pattern. The pattern is if you're going this way, it's going to go, it's going to start increasing. So instead of a 1, we're going to write from a 2 to a 3. In this one here, the, this example, we, we start with a 1 because look at the number in front here. In front of the 4, there's nothing. It's like a 0. So we just put a 1 here, increase it again. Now, at this example, we have a 2, so we're going to go 3, 4, 5, and 6. How about the third example? The last digit in here, the, the, the number that's not changing is the 6. So I underline the 6, and then I write it on all of them. And again, let's do this one in pink. And then the other way, I'm going to write 6 on all of these. The number that does change is my 15. Look at both of them. Look at everything to the left of the 6. It's a 15. So what's the next number up? 16, and then 17, and then 18. Going backwards, you got to go, you got to put 14. And then, so you're counting backwards, basically, then 13. And then one more example. So in 230, the number that's not going to change is the 0. And then you write it along the way. Just like that. So what is changing then? Let's, let's, let's think about this for a second here. What's changing? That's right, 23. Good job. So 23 to 24. And then 25. Like that, 26. And then going backwards, you're going to count backwards. So from 23, you're going to write 22 and then 21. In this next question, we have uh, an example here. We have a girl named Megan, and she's skip counting by 10. So she's doing exactly what we've been doing all along. And she started at the number 791 and ended at the number 721. And the question is, did she do it right? Do you give her a check mark for this? Did she count properly? Or do you mark it wrong? She maybe made a mistake in this. So how, let, let's think about this for a little bit. What's the rule for counting by 10 is the last digit never changes. So since that's a 1 over here, and that's a 1 over here, she did it correctly. But let's, let's just double check this, make sure that you know, we have, it, it, it works out. So let's write 791, and we'll write a few lines like that. I don't know how many lines yet, but let's, let's do that. So here's 791. The last number never changes, so I'm going to write one on all of them. Now, in this case here, we're, we're shrinking the numbers. We're making them smaller because we're going from 79 to 72. So we're going to shrink the 79 down into a 78, and then into a 77, 76, 75, 74, 73 with a 1, and then 72 with a 1. So it does work out. You end up on the number that she ended up. So, so we did her right. She gets a check mark for this. 
Here's something else you can expect to see on any test. So a question where you're given a certain amount of money, so we have nine dimes, and what are dimes worth? They're, they're worth 10 cents each. Okay, and the question asks you, how much are these dimes worth? So the first thing you want to do in a question like this is, if you have nine dimes, draw nine lines. like that. And then you want to start with a number. So we got to figure out what to start with. Now, since we have only dimes, we have 10 cents and we have 9 of them. We're we're going to write 10. Okay? Cuz that's what a dime is worth. You have the first dime, it's worth 10 cents. And then continue the pattern again. So it's going to be zeros on all of them. Cuz that's the rule for counting by 10. You got to put you got to keep that digit here on the end the same. And then start with the pattern. So from a 1, so that came from the dime, you're going to change it to a 2 and then a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9. So you have 90 cents altogether because dimes are cents, you're going to write 90 cents. That's how much it's worth. So try this question on your own here. I'll give you a moment to do this. If you want, you can always pause the video and then uh, we can do it together. if. You're still a little confused. So in this example here, we have six dimes. So again, a dime is worth 10 cents. So we'll start at 10 and then write zeros on all of them. And you can probably finish the rest. <clears throat> excuse me. You can probably finish the rest on your own. You got a one and then a two, three, four. Uh, I think I drew too many lines. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't need this one here. So we have 60 cents altogether. This is probably the most difficult of all of them. You're given different types of money, so um, a variety of them. You have $2 here, $10 here, $1 here, and you're asked to count them. The first thing you want to do is to decide what you're going to, well, decide first what your starting number is. So you have a 2 over here. Let's, let's write it in first. So uh, let's, let's change the size of that thing here. Okay, so we'll put a 2 over here because we have $2. That's your starting number. And then you need to decide what you're counting by. So we're counting by 10. And then we're counting by 10 again. And then counting by 10 again. So we're counting by 10 three times. So the rule for counting by 10 is you keep this number the same. You write 2, 2, 2. And then you change the number in front. So we're going to write a 1 here, a 2 there, and a 3 there. Nothing has changed in this pattern here. We're starting with 2. We're counting by 10. So we start at 2 and you count by 10. 12, 22, 32. That's all, we've, that's all we, do, we did here. So we get to there. And then you decide again, what are we counting by next? We're counting by 2. So you just add 2 onto this and you get 34. That's all we're doing here. Now in the next question, you start with 1. So I'm going to write 1 here. And then you're going to count by 10 two times. So we're going to write 1 here and then 1 there. That never changes. And then what do you do here? You change the number in front. So it's going to become a 1 and then a 2. So you start at 1 and you count by 10 two times. So you start at 1, count by 10 once, you get to 11. Count by 10 again, you get to 21. Then what are we doing? Not counting by 10 again, we're counting by 1. So increase this by 1, you get 22. Increase by 1 again, you get 23. And then the fun begins again. Count by 10, three times. So hold that number here. That never changes. 3, 3, 3. So what do you write in front of this one? Well, since that's a 2, you're going to change it to a 3. And then change it to a 4, and then change it to a 5. You're counting by 10. And that is how you count by 10, guys. It's a great way of counting money. Get good at it. Get comfortable with it. And I'll see you in lesson two.